welcome to LNP Renewable System Integrator. <coughs> Today we are going to discuss about um, CBTC, Communication Based Train Control in Metro Stations Basics Part 2 of 3. So if you have missed out Part 1, we had already talked about the Part 1. If you have missed out, we are providing the link and also if you have subscribed to our channel, in the channel if you go into the playlist, we will be providing CBTC Communication Based Train Control in Metro Station Basics as a playlist. So inside the playlist you can play all the three parts and check okay so what are the things that we're going to discuss in the part two? First thing is that we will try to define what is cbtc that is communication based train control and what are the advantages of it and what are the main components of cbtc and what are the primary functions of atp okay and how a cbtc functionality test is done okay how the conceptual block diagram of the cbc looks like okay and what are the different level of automations available in the cbtc okay and who what are the metros that uses the cbtc technology and who are all the suppliers of cbtc technology in india and around the world okay and how a cbtc system architecture is established using the land and how cb ctc signaling system architecture looks like and what are the onboard equipments in ctc that is centralized traffic control signaling system so this is how the metro station will looks like so there are so many different designs with, which will be available in the world so you can refer to it okay so wherever you go in the metro station for sure there will be establishment of this building automation system inside it okay so in the discussion we will try to discuss so many abbreviations so uh, what is atc okay what is ato what is atp and what is ats like that so many abbreviation will be there so we had given a uh, you know description for those abbreviation which we are using inside the video and if you have any sort of clarity you can you know uh, come to this session and you can clarify your abbreviation descriptions so what is cbtc that is communication based train control it is a railway signaling system that uh, makes use of the telecommunication between the train and the track equipment for the traffic management and the infrastructure control okay it follows the ieee 1474 standards okay with the help of this method we can able to know the exact position of the train and also you know apart from the traditional signaling system with the by knowing the exact position of the train we can use the maximum you know efficient use of this for handling the railway traffic so it is a, a global technology okay so this train bind method is used to exactly determine the train location length and the integrity okay it is a continuous data communication link between the train bound equipments and the wayside equipments it has a vital role in performing ATP that is automatic train protection ATO that is automatic train operation ATS automatic train supervision functions all these three functions we can perform using this CBDC you know because of this method the transmit infrastructure has been improvised and we have a good safety for train movements and we can maximize the line capacity and we are permitting the flexible train movements okay and also you know people can efficiently move so in order to be precise of the main advantages of this um, communication based train control system is that we have optimized train speed control in a short term of period we can deliver and launch the system from the day one we can make use of it into operations and we have a automated operation the easy maintenance we have a power saving we have a you know easy integration we have the best immunity against the interferences it is 100% safe and we have a minimum trackside equipments So this is an optimum train centric architecture okay, which has a you know very intelligent onboard equipments from direct train to train communication leading to 20% less equipment and better for performance. Okay, it is highly operational for 24 into 7 hours we can operate these equipments. Okay, it can be easily integrated with all the automation system for the railway transport. So in order to be precise if you make a comparison between CBTC and normal PTC, in the PTC we have only automatic train protection. That is in case of CBTC we have ATP, ATO and ATS. 
So what are the four important components of this CBTC? First is that it will have a central equipments and it will have a wayside equipments and it will have a train board equipments and it will have a data communication equipments. As you can see in this block diagram, we had pretty, uh, you know, uh, clearly provided the details of these four equipments. So what are the primary functions of this ATP functions? So it has so many functions. The first thing is to determine the train location. That is the first primary function of ATP, automatic train protection. And second thing is that it needs to determine the movement authority based on the train location and the route status. And third most important function of this ATP is that it determines and enforces the ATP profile. So it, it will authorize the speed determination and it, is, it will supervise and enforce the authorized speed. And if you get into testing of this CBTC function test, first it will have the full set of CBTC sub functions. So we will have a factory functional testing, test track functional testing, field functional testing and the sub function fully verified in the field. Okay. First, when you get into the factory function testing, okay, this sub function will be fully verified in the factory. If it is not verified in the factory, it will be tested again in the test track functionality test. And in the test track functionality test, if entire sub function is fully verified, it will be directly provided to the test track. But if all the sub functions are not verified, then the field function testing will be done. Okay. So as a result of it, all the CBTC functional test and the you know sub functions will be fully verified. So this is how CBTC function test works. So as we told earlier in the CBTC system, the train themselves are continuously communicating their exact position to the equipment in the track by means of bidirectional link. Example the radio communications. So what is the frequency range which is often used for this radio communication? It can be from 30 to 60 kilohertz. It will be mostly adopted in the most of the metro stations in order to avoid the electromagnetic compatibility issues. This CBTC system, okay, it will calculate the train, um, the train continuously calculate and communicate their status via radio to the wayside equipments which will be distributed along the line. Okay, it also includes other parameters like the exact position, speed, travel direction, braking distance, everything will be there. Okay, so this information allows for the calculation of area potentially occupied by the train on the track. It also enables the various equipment to define the point of line that must never be passed by the other trains on the same track. So these all these points will be communicated to make the train automatically and continuously adjust their speed while maintaining the safety requirements and also maintain the safety distance. So when we categorize what are the subsystems existing in this uh, CBTC, we have a train a track side signaling system, we will have a radio system and we will be, happy, we'll be having the onboard systems. And if you try to know about the information flow, the main information will be flowing from the train to the track side signaling system, from the track side signaling system, the signals will be coming to the train. In between, we have a radio system communication for the information route. Whereas these track side systems will be providing the train tracking, it will try to provide train headway control and it will provide the route control also. And when you try to know about the radio system, it will provide the information. Whereas what is the duty of this onboard system? So these onboard systems will provide the train location, deduction, it control the pattern for calculation and speed control. Uh, this is the you know typical example of a communication based train control communication arrangement see here we have ats we have dsu we have a zone control and we have a dcs wireless network apart from it we have a onboard equipments in the train which has atp and ato so we have emergency braking services also we have a service braking curve as well So in order to know the occupancy and the footprint, okay. so if you go with the fixed block system, we will try to know the occupancy of the trains in the track and if you go with the moving block, so we will try to know the footprints and we will try to know the braking curve. 
so that we will try to it will allow the train to run closer together while maintaining the safe braking distance so as we told earlier with the help of this um, you know moving block working system we will try to maintain the safest distance between the two trains while running itself so this is the best advantage of this cbdc system what are the different level of automations which is available in the train so if you classify them as a grade we have a grade 0 grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 grade 0 will be the on side which is, which is similar to the tram which often we can see inside the uh, cities like london okay paris everywhere and the second grade of automation will be the manual one where the train driver will be controlling the starting and stopping positions okay and the third position is the sto that is semi automatic so here we have a starting and stopping everything will be automated but a driver will be there he will be available if there is any emergencies required to stop the train next is next grade of automation is third grade which is driverless that is dto here starting and stopping everything will be automated but a train attendant will be there who will operate the doors and the drives of the train in case of emergencies and the fourth grade that is nothing but goa4 in this automation we will have a uto which that is unattended train operations here starting and the stopping operation of the door and the handling of the emergencies are fully automated operation without any on train staffs all the station must have a platform screen doors as well so the same thing is discussed here okay uh, and most importantly it is classified based on iec 622901 standards okay and if you try to the, for the same different level of automations when we have a different mode of operations so this table will be pretty clear to know about the different modes of operation as per the grade of automation first grade g0 a1 we will have a train operation for uh, we will have a atp with a driver and for starting and stopping we need driver and for door closing and the operation of the disruption we need driver and g0 a2 we will have a atp and ato with the driver starting stopping everything will be automatic for the door closure and the operation in the event of disruption we will, we need a help of a driver and goa3 that is third grade automation we will have a driverless so that starting stopping will be automatic and for the door closure and the, uh, during the emergency condition we need a train attendant and the fourth grade we will have a uto here starting stopping door closure and in case of emergency also we will have a automatic and uh, what are the metros in the world which had implemented the cbtc technologies so if you get to the location london new york we will have a the cbtc technology which was uh, the supplier is talis even siemens are supplying this metro technologies cbtc technologies and when you go for singapore we will have a alstom and when you go for hungary we have a siemens and when you go for uh, delhi metro we will have a nippon signal and for the riyadh metro we have alstom and for beijing we have a nippon signal and for brazil we have a bombardier and for the madrid we have a bombardier for the paris metro we will have a siemens okay all these people are the suppliers of this cbdc technologies and when you try to know about the level of automation different uh, part of the world had established different methods that is sto method uto method ato method DTO method like this, so many different uh, level of automations have been established around the world. And uh, when you try to uh, know about the list of metros in India, which has implemented CBTC technology, we have a CBTC technology implemented metro station in Hyderabad, Lucknow, Kochi, Mumbai, Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Nagpur, Pune, Bangalore, and Chennai. and in uh, delhi metro alone we have more than 10 different lines in the delhi metro alone so we have a red line yellow line blue line green line violet line pink line magenta line gray line like that uh, orange line 
like that we have different sort of metro stations in delhi metro so when we try to establish the okay communication based train control with the help of a land network this is how the architecture will be so we will have antennas we will have a base stations we will have a mobile stations we will have a local area network okay and also we will have a control on site equipments also so this is the simple architecture of the cbdc technology when we try to draw the architecture line this is how it will be we will have a automatic tram supervision we will have a front tram we will have a zone controller okay we will have a, a train operator display like this so many things will be a part of this cbdc system architecture so this is how the communication arrangement of cbdc technologies looks like so as you can see we have a automatic train supervision and we have a wayside atp interlocking and wayside ato okay we have a radio communication system and in the on board we have atp and the ato in the train so when you go in depth of these uh, on board equipments including the atp and ato substitution in the vehicle we have pts we have io smart ways when you when it get into the tunnel we have a radio we have a atc so these are the you know on board equipments of this cbdc technologies thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us so we have provided the contact details here so we are providing design installation testing commissioning support for solar on grid off grid and hybrid application for agricultural farms we are providing solar fencing systems as a kit so if you need any solar fencing kit you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and also we are providing design installation testing and commissioning consultancy supports for home automation and building automation and if you are a plan to work in gcc country for working in automation industry we are providing training in that also so we have provided the contact details here so we are providing you know plc programming for siemens allen broadly delta plcs the person who are really interested to work in the automation industry so you can contact us we are providing the plc programming training so we have provided the contact details here thank you so much and if you have missed out any part 1 or part 3 okay so please subscribe to the channel in the channel we have a playlist in the playlist we are providing all the parts in the compressed way so so that you can try to see all the parts which is provided which has been discussed regarding this cbdc technology thank you so much